Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 258. Halfway through May, all of us are talking about the weather that we've been having, uh, at least those of us in chat. If you're not here with us right here, right now, uh, these means are recorded for you and it will end up on YouTube. Uh, what are we doing today? Oh, a lot like we did last week. Um, we're gonna say hi. So everybody that's in chat, Zach, Bert, Christopher, welcome. And uh, anybody else, go ahead and say hi. It's lovely to have you. We will do our Wix 4 V1 release review, um, AKA we're just gonna say, yep, this is what we're doing. That'll be really quick. And then we'll do uh, issue review and triage. Uh, that is the bulk of today. We'll go through the new triage issues. We'll go through the 401 issues just to talk about the things that are still open. And we will talk about uh, V5, V future. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the congratulations of getting V4 out the door. Uh, you'll be able to come back in about three weeks and congratulate us on getting 401 out the door because that's what we're doing. Thank you for that beautiful segue, oh boy. Uh, release June 5th, 2023. There is no new information on this slide. It is just confirmation about what we are doing for 401. Uh, we have three weeks minus a day, right? One, two, three. Yeah, three minus a day. Um to finish all these things and we will then release June 5th, 2023, a Wix 401 that mop up all of the bigger issues that people didn't find in all of those RCs we did, but I'm not better. Only a little bit, but not really, it's all right. All right, so 401, no big deal, no surprises here. Uh, everybody that's been following along knows that this is coming and that June 5th was the date we decided upon two months after the Wix 4 release. But we want to talk about uh, V5 stuff uh, and all that other kinds of things. So uh, to do that, we need to kind of work our way through all the issues and review all the new issues, current issues, and future issues, which is what we're going to do today before we start uh, spending a bit more time on uh, focusing on new like features and things like that. But let's go jump over to GitHub real quick. Bob, you ready? I'm ready. Ta-da. All right, here we are. We have 10 open issues and two closed already. That's interesting. Um, to triage. So we'll start at the top, which is the, I think the oldest, and we will work our way down to the ones that were open most recently. Uh, YouTube mobile is not so good. Couldn't find the chat window. Oh, well, welcome, Jacob. We're glad you're here, um, even if it is by phone. All right, here we go. 7379, internal Wix. UI bootstrap, Wix internal UI bootstrap application screen flash. So I think this is that, uh, yeah, Christopher confirmed that this is, uh, that a one black, one pixel bitmap splash screen can actually solve all the UAC problems. Um, so this is back in triage. Bob, you put this back in triage, the thinking being, it's currently assigned to 401. And with this small workaround, we probably can wait to do more aggressive changes for five. That was my thinking. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do, especially given some of the things we're thinking about in five. I think we should let this slide into five. How about we move it to five to remind us about this issue as we go there? Sounds good. All right, and I think you give it to me because the, the change will be interesting. All right, okay. let's do that. Cool, thank you, Painter. All right, so uh, next one, 7465. MBA native DLL isn't included in the .NET Framework MBA UI payloads. That's correct, it is not automatically included for you. You could argue that maybe it should, but it doesn't have to. No, I, I think we're just gonna let, Jacob, we're not gonna try to automatically add a, a pixel. We'll just let people do that um, and then go from there. Because we're gonna do a much different change, I think. Unless someone really wants to put in a one pixel fix in 401, maybe, is that possible? Mm -hmm. That might be really tricky. Yeah, I'm, I, I would not. Could Mm. I'd be really nervous. No, no, because it's going to, then people that actually want to put their own will over, run into it. Yeah, that has all kinds of problems. I think it's just a matter of like, yeah, have a splash screen and this will work for you if you want to do that. Um, and for 
It uh, will be apparent. I mean, I'll, you know, this isn't something that only shows up on user machines. Right, 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 right. As soon as you run a test, you'll be you'll be good. And if you search for it, you know, an issue, you'll be like, oh, that's a workaround. All right, that's fine. So we'll go from there. Um, all right, so the content here is, yeah, you can add MBA native as content to yourself. I agree that this is kind of weird. Let's give this to me a five because we're going to kind of work around with this as well and we can change it. But this is the way it works in Wix 4. And I agree it takes a little bit extra step to make it happen. But as you could tell, we've been thinking about some of these speed bumps and what we could do for them in five. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Oh, I didn't get a chance to try this one. 7466, so far behind. Dash D doesn't work when you're using .NET tool Wix from the command line. I expect there's some behavior that Dash D is being picked up with the .NET tool, but I haven't given this a try. Um, you can also use the dash define in place of dash D and everything will work. So the workaround right now is to use dash define if you're using .NET tool Wix from the command line. And this is only for a, a project local installation. Correct, okay. where you do .NET Wix and then you, you do a local tool install and then you can say .NET Wix. And I'm like, yeah, the dash D is interesting. Something about .NET is picking up the dash D, and I, I bet there's probably some subtle thing they have documented somewhere that dash D means something to them, and they're pulling it up. There might be like .NET, this is the thing I haven't tried. I think you might be able to do dot not, dot .NET dash dash right here in between, yeah, okay, that shows up, right between the .NET and the Wix, and I think that's like, I could be making this up, but I thought there was something where you could do dash dash, and that would tell the rest of it, hey, this is a command line for the command versus com command line arguments for .NET. Anyway, it's some interaction between those two things. Um, you know, give this to me in five and we can look at maybe changing the way that this works in five to handle this. In, but in four, just use the workaround with dash define and we'll go look at this in the five preview, get to the root of it, see if maybe we should pick a different switch or something or better document it but only for local builds. If you use a global build, global tool install, which is what I've preferred to do, you don't, there are no problems there. All right, 7470, directory ref file source should default to that of a directory source. Directory file source, right? And then you have a directory ref over here. Yeah, this is not at all how this works. <laughs> I think we talked about this two weeks ago, uh, that these file sources flow down to the child components. They are not like, burned into it. And we talked about how this could all be done differently, but it's not the design of Wix right now. So we should, how do you tie these together? Essentially, if someone wanted to do it, you know, it's like kind of, you have to redesign the way that these things work to meet these expectations. It's a completely different design and it will break anybody they expect this to work the way it does right now. There's all kinds of issues to think about uh, working through this. Can we tie these two together? And then, because they're both marked whip required, right? I uh, thought that's what we did. Lead. Yeah. So why don't we just tie this one to that one or close this? Can we close this as, you know, another feature to refer to that one as the parent? Well, I I, I see this one as a little different because it's, it, it is requesting the, um, it's it's requesting that the directory remember mm -hmm. the file source. Yep. Yep. So that it's you know around in the directory right. ref, which yeah. is oh, it's a totally reasonable way of looking at it. Yeah, it's also fraught with peril, um, especially when you get into like you know relative paths and stuff like that. No, um, but it, it's it's it. it it is not unreasonable to expect it to work like that. Yeah. Like, so I, this is not, this is not a bug. This is the way it works. And yeah. that's why I was thinking we could close this, but link it to the other one as a, yeah, this is not, the, this is not a bug, but the design could change. And this other issue 
was where people could start thinking about, hey, if I was to wanted to pick this feature up and redesign how all this worked, hey, let's build a whole discussion about what that means to redesign this feature. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yep, this is the way this is the way it works. This is not a workaround. This is the way it works. You can argue good or bad, but that is the way it works. I don't prefer directory ref like this anyway. I prefer component group, and then you put the directory on it, and then the component group can have a source, but anyway. So, yep. All right, completely reasonable design. That is not how it works today. All right, 7472, building bootstrapper generates Wix 305 unable to read package. This is, oh, the MSI was missing feature components, and I think, yeah, Bob, you've already picked this up, right? It is fixed in Wix 5. Cool. So let's go ahead and bring this in 401 just because that error message is not at all helpful. I saw the fix and it's small, so I think we could bring it over. All right. And it'll just save us one more of those, hey, something went wrong kind of things. Uh, Wix 4 harvest project does not harvest reference dependencies, 7475. That is possibly true. Cool. That could be up for grabs. If someone wants to work on that kind of problem, I do not. Is this the project output group problem? Could be. Yeah, it's like you have to get your project before. output groups right and all the things. And it's it's a hard problem. I know because we've solved it in Fire Giant, but yeah. it's not trivial and heat is a mess. So if someone wanted to go solve it, they could go do so. Um, 7476 is closed. Unable to use TLS from a CA. Oh, this has turned into a discussion. Yep. All right. So that is, I'm going to assume, being discussed. And if it has to come back to an issue, it'll come back. Oh, I hit refresh. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, Director of uh, empty custom table. All right, 7480, empty custom table not created in MSI. Mm, custom tables in Wix 4 are much more complicated the way they get handled. Well, custom table now has custom table ref. So we've we've done yes. quite a bit to, to separate out. Yes. You, it worked in three. It was kind of weird um yep. it was but, both a ref and a definition yeah, yeah. and you could get into really strange situations to make it work i'm i'm curious if a custom table ref would create an empty table isn't uh, it the same as ensure table that, well that's what i'm i'm wondering if just having custom table creates a definition and there's yeah. no reference to it, it it's not going to go into the msi that is yep. you know that's arguably known. better behavior in, yep. than in three but I'm picturing that a custom table ref would, you know, essentially replicate right. the, the V3 behavior. But there's also ensure table. So Christopher's gonna take a quick look. Either way, this is this is a change in four to clean up some of the complexities of some of the weirder behaviors of custom table, but it did add this extra step that if you have an empty table, you had to go ref it to bring it in. Or if sorry, if you had a table off somewhere, you had to ref it to bring it in. So yeah, that's not surprising and custom table ref, I thought was just an ensure table alias to be clean, right? Like this is a this is the ref perfectly for this kind of thing. Well, it's also that that's how you add rows. Right. So I'm thinking an empty custom table ref would uh, I don't know if it'll let you do that. Oh, content might be required. It might be. I don't know. Okay. Chris is gonna try with I, the custom tables are Custom tables are pretty brutal um, in Wix 4, too. They were challenging well, to bring yeah. them in um, yeah. to fit in the new model. I am I know we've fixed this problem V3, but it does expose this issue. So, all right. Either way, this is not an issue. It is a change in behavior from V3 to V4. That's true. Fortunately, not many people have custom tables or they had rows and things like that. And the case where you will hit this is if you have your own custom table for like an extension or a custom action you're writing, that is the best or most likely case where you could hit that. But an insure table always works. And an insure table will work around the issue. And we'll see if the empty custom table, Christopher said he can go try it. So he'll go try that. Um, either way, the answer is a sure table and or empty custom table ref. And to just make really sure. Yeah, custom table ref works. All right, that's good. Cool, cool. Yeah, good, good. So yes, that is a change for V3, and there is a reason for it because there are bad things in V3. 
that you shouldn't be, should now avoid in B4. But if you have an empty table you want to pull, you have to ref it. All right. Uh, 7482, fatal error when decompiling dialogue table. Yeah, this was just bad code. I saw this diff. Yep. We should take this at 401 too. Okay. We've taken a few other decompiler changes. I saw you had a test for it. It's a small change. We can go from there. Yep. 7484, custom extension causes Wix to have unhandled system argument null exception. That's possible. The extension is running inside Wix. So if your extension crashes, your value will, you will explode. And if you look at it from the MS build command line, I think, or if you look at the log file, there will be a call stack with this, but the way the Visual Studio cuts this, you only get one line, so you don't actually see the call stack that's probably pointing into your ex extension. So yes, this can happen. Also from the command line, you can get a bin log. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it, yeah. Bin logs are the best thing yeah. ever. That's true. The bin log is a much easier way of seeing the errors and stuff like that. Or just debug in, and you'll see the exception being thrown. So yeah, extensions can cause Wix to throw this 001 exception, which is essentially the something horrible went wrong, completely unexpected, you know, bad place. And we shouldn't have any in Wix. Um, and if an extension causes it, then we need to fix the extension. Or if this is a custom extension, that extension needs to be fixed. This is not unexpected. Yeah, extensions run in proc inside yeah. Wix. Yeah. So well, any and, exception they throw is, is going to bubble out. And extensions can create bad data that then cause Wix to crash, to throw this, throw Wix 001s later. So you have to, you, you know, we do give extensions significant access to the internal build pipeline, which gives them lots of power. But as Uncle Ben says, with great power comes great um, responsibility. So yeah, you can't mess stuff up or you will blow Wix up. And I know that because I've done it. Could you log inner exception or something? No, the exception's being logged. It's just Visual Studio is not showing it to you. It's it's all there. The whole stack is there. You just have to do it. And this is the specific Wix exception. This is the exception that says something internally blew up. Extensions. Yeah, I mean, blew up. I, we could try to, I guess we could wrap every extension point in Wix with a catch that then takes that exception and puts it in a Wix exception and throws it back and says, hey, this extension blew up. And if we had lots of people writing extensions that were blowing up Wix and blaming us, we probably would do that. But that hasn't been a problem in the past. So, uh, yeah. And no, there's no, I mean, to, to write a Wix extension, you have to understand Wix itself. It's not a, it's not a, yeah, let's just write a Wix extension. There's lots of data structures you have to understand to to go through there. Don't turn like the unhand to be clear, Christopher, the unhandled exception in this case is almost certainly coming from the extension itself or being generated by the extension in the Wix. If this is just if you don't have the extension and it still hits this, then yes, that would be bad. So all right. Moving on, 7490. Sign containers is in function for detached bootstrap containers. Hmm, people use detached bootstrap for containers. All right. So something has gone wrong. Well, no, no, no. Wow. That's interesting. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't know that that's interesting. Isn't that what happens when you're, isn't that the first container resolution message? It's hard to know. It, this is, it, signed attached containers are creating problems. A bootstrapper has detached containers, side loads, and they are signed. I don't know what side loads means and their side. Execute the bootstrapper. Yeah, there's probably not a test for this in the, the to verify that signed detached containers work in burn. I can see that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we should probably should put it 401 and take a look at it because it looks like it's pretty broken. The error is found. Oh, yeah. The 70002 is not found, not found. But if these are all nulls, that's also a problem. I'm assuming that he didn't modify those. So it's like something about signing the container is very much confused burn if all this data is correct and the stars are the ones replacing his paths. Right. Because like, yeah, this is like no, no, no is a bad sign all over the place. Usually. But again, I'm I'm thinking that's the that's the attempt to acquire the container. And that's where I'm, I'm Oh, like, the package is no I see. So the container is one. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right. I haven't seen many laws with detached containers because nobody we thought nobody uses them. Um so yeah, it's probably something's busted. Yeah, the remove star is kind of sketchy too. I don't. It's he's like swapped out his containers for like pre-built ones, I think, or some side loads or something. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, like there's definitely a game being done here. Hmm. Yeah, that's all very interesting. I've. I can't say that I've ever looked at the signing targets for containers. Well, the attached containers are interesting. Yeah. Well, that's right. The attached container is yeah, easy, um, relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, well, we should probably at least create a test for this. Yeah, agreed. Signing is always kind of a pain, but, but we're gonna have to, we have something that signs, right, somewhere? With a fake certificate? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. That's such yes. a... It doesn't have to be valid. It just has to be able to be... Cur to sign it. Well, there has to be... Able to, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, we should look at that. Probably are lacking a test on detached containers so something like this could slip through. And we'll then see if this... If this creates the problem, if we create a test and everything works without that, then we'd be like, all right, cool. Then whatever you're doing in this game here is confusing things. And that'll be outside. But I don't think we have a test for this. So that's probably the place to start. Yep. Flip uh, coin for right. who does this? I, I'll probably have to jump into it. Unless you want to jump on the grenade. I don't know. I'll, I'll jump first. All right. It's it's creating a test is the first thing. So yes, yeah. like just use the feature. The hard part is the hard part is getting a signature into the test that we can sign with, probably. Whew. All right, so of those, that one's probably the scariest, I think, of 401. Well, because the, the only one we took a 401 that already have a fix. Um, to dump the content. Yeah, Jacob, I, I, I really do think we're probably missing a test, and it's very possible we've broken signing for detached containers. It's just... I, knowing what I know about detached containers, I have a hard time blaming somebody else knowing that's the space of it. But All right. At least at first. At first, at first, right. When we have the test in there, or if we find a test, we'd be like, oh, there was a test. Rob was wrong. That would be great, because there are plenty of burn tests written uh, without me by by far. So that would be great. Um, but the test containers are kind of a black sheep of the family. All right, I'm going to hit F5 on this to bring it up. And these are not in ascending order. I'm gonna, I want to sort them the other way, please. Oldest. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's how I had it. Um. Okay, so... Let's talk about 401 issues that are open right now. I've been slammed and then sick at work, so I have not made progress on my two issues, which I think are the only two issues open in 401 right now. Yep. These two, the package state. This is not a hard. I just have to do all the work to do it, and I doubt this is hard. And Bob said he might even take it off my hands. And then the signed containers. All right, so basically the issues that are open are the ones that are assigned to me or the one that just came in today in fact this is open five hours ago so today 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 um so 401 still i think is like oh wait building boo shepherd oh this is already fixed right yep um so yeah so we're still looking just fine for 401 um release date essentially we haven't taken many that we haven't had fixes for pretty rapidly I guess that's what we're saying, which means that the fixes so far have been really small. The sign containers for detached 
bootstrapper might be the worst case, I think, Bob. I think that's probably going to be the worst one we had in this 401. Yeah, at least for the past couple of weeks. Yeah. So, um, that's 401. The, the statement, the takeaway from here is that, uh, you know, we are looking okay for the next three weeks, essentially. And we're going to hang out here with these three. Well, we'll get these closed before those next three weeks. Um, but we're going to keep this open for the next three weeks to kind of suck up as many of the four issues we can so that when we are done done, we are not doing a 402. We can just focus on five because I think, Bob, you pointed out that there is like seven months of six months of dev-ish time on Wix 5. Yeah, plus or minus. Is, yeah, so it's like, yeah, we probably should. If we're going to do anything in five, we probably should be thinking about that. Hey, Ron's here. Ron, great to have you. All right, so that's... So speaking of five, let's go talk about the five future lists. So we started on this last week, or two weeks ago, sorry, last meeting, um, to kind of trim down these things that we uh, thought, or that we had over many, 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 many years, been throwing stuff into future, and we're now cleaning this out of, are we going to do this now, or are we just going to um, do this in five? So let's continue down that path with the v future starting at the top here of uh, 5494 as search capability inside xml and he took this issue wait am i going oldest to newest or newest to oldest this is not sorted correctly either oh yeah it is oldest to newest all right good sorry all right um i think this person took it and said that they would be interested in writing a whip oh mm -hmm. they have kind of i would I think we need to put them up there. Okay, cool. All right, we need to kind of tweak this a little bit and bring all the parts up going forward, but it sounds like we could assign this this person and bring it up to five. And can you continue this discussion about these parts, right? Yes, I yep. believe that's correct. Yep, and see how it goes. And I will edit some of this to, this is the, not many people have done this yet, but we're moving the whips into uh, GitHub, and so it's it's more of the edit this part up here with the whole issue. So you keep editing this part at the top, but that's all right. We'll get that sorted out. The experience is new to people. We'll we'll sort that out. All right, five eight five four. Oh, how perfect timing! People complaining on Twitter last night about documentation again. Um, please put this in five because I'm going to write up some things about documentation. That's why I kept this thing around go from there so more to talk about in that space all right five nine three six patch created using purely wix does not include changes to xml file table oh okay this is marked as whip oh filtering for extension data mm. yep all right this needs a whip and i think it can go up for grabs right I think we can remove breaking change and enhancement just whip required and put it up for grabs. Okay. Probably going to slowly burninate the enhancement tag. All right. Um, accessibility 5961. I think we could put that in our accessibility bucket. And it is, right? As the, yeah, someone needs to sweep through all the accessibility challenges um, in. MSI UI, right? I'll go try to dig that up. No, I think we just put it out. No. Is there a, I didn't think we do anything more than tag accessibility. Did we? Maybe there was. The We have the master accessibility bugs. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. And then you're linking them all to that one? Correct. Gotcha. That makes sense too. All right. 6085, package not cached after bundle upgrade. Hmm. This sounds like a bug. I wonder, nope, probably not fixed. All right, remove, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, oh, this is dependent bundles. Okay. Oh yeah, this can go up for grabs if anybody wants to kind of tackle this, unless you want it, Bob. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. Yep, someone can dig into that. Um, smart cabby not working in some cases, 6220. Interesting. Yeah, we have a 
smart cabbing is always on now in Wix 4. So let's go ahead and put that up for grabs. If someone wants to go do more work in smart cabbing, they could to refine how it's done. It just brought the V3 behavior over. So yeah, to handle that case too, someone could do that if they wanted. So we can tag that up for grabs. Um, 6350, burn does not repair MSI when slip strained with minor patch, minor update patch. Oof, interesting narrow scenarios. Yep. Ah. Uh, Bob, you have the most knowledge on this. Yeah. Or had. <laughs> you may have to reload well, it. Well, yeah, I'll definitely have to reload it. Uh, patching knowledge is the kind that leaks immediately. Um, but I will I will go ahead and take this to dig in again. Um, no. Oh, it's already assigned to me. Um, cannot cannot guarantee that I can actually do something with it. But right. by the way, if anybody in chat's like, ooh, 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 I want that issue, go ahead and just put the number in there because there's a little delay between chat and us. If you're like, oh, oh I want to work on 6085, that'd be great. Just say, hey, I like 6085. We'll take it out or up for grabs, give it to you and put it uh, in, in Waste 5. We're kind of going through with the, you know, we could chat and work our way through it so we don't take forever going over all these issues with the assumption that a lot of people aren't going to um, want to talk about these things. All right, 6423, migrate compiler backends to error message to the compiler or appropriate backend. Yeah, let's put this in five. I wanna do more of this. We started started getting a little bit cleaner um, and we need to do more. There are a lot of error messages in data that are just so super specific. They do not need to be in data. Yeah. No extension would ever use them. So um, that'll be a nice, Clean. And I don't know that I'll get all of them, but I could just do another pass at least in five and maybe put this in V future when I get as far as I get in there. So um, 6472, Burr should support multi-instance MSI packages. That would be a great feature. Not Does trivial. Anybody want, Does anybody want to take it? Go away, go away. All right. Up for grabs. Yep. That it's not trivial. <laughs> as, as Bob said, not trivial. Um 6783, send embedded error, send embedded error, prog send embedded progress should support additional data. Interesting. Who opened that? <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's more or better messages. It's, it's more detail. Mm, um, mm, yeah. I see. This is for something running a burn bundle. Right, right. Yeah, you don't. You, the The protocol has a lot of data, but uh, or sorry, the protocol supports should support sending along. Like, if there's an error, we should get as much detail as possible. And mm -hmm. right now, I don't remember exactly what is supported, um, but it wasn't much. Yeah, and you know, same thing. With progress, it's like uh, it's tough to provide rich information, which is half the reason that you know. Well, I don't know. A third of the reason that people use um, external bundle runners is mm -hmm. to progress to to run it and and you know not just have a you know it's running. Yep, yeah. oh, it's done. Yep. Um, I'll I'll take this as a and it's already signed to me so yeah um, yeah I'll take this as a yeah maybe there's maybe it's a trivial thing uh, the the hardest problem is the protocol changes yeah and how to do that in a way it's like add new messages maybe I don't know right I right think about that all right six seven eight eight allow MSI product version to be any valid Wix version um. I still like the idea of this thing. People keep telling me it's not an interesting problem to solve, though. That's mostly me. Yeah, probably not in five. 
when we put it up for grabs, I mean, I still like I, the idea of it is still, I don't know, it's, it's more of a completeness kind of thing than it is a utility. I don't know that anybody would ever use it for real. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of, yeah, you could do that. Anyway, all right. Um, 6821, add ability to specify that custom action reference depends on architecture. Ah, yes, the architecture switch. <sighs> yes. Um, are we going to tackle this at five? No, no. It's, it, the, the, there is a simple solution. Um, yeah. But I don't think that that's simple. I don't think simple is good enough. We have I, we have something that works right now that you could kind of fudge your way through with the preprocessor. Right. Yes. The suffix and that kind well, of stuff. Yes, if you if you assume the, I mean, this works for for all of the Wix extensions um, because they're consistent in their use of the prefix and the suffix, and mm -hmm. um, you know, it it the builder short preprocessor variable that I added solves the problem. If well you follow enough. the pattern, if you follow the pattern, if you follow the pattern, and again, all the Wix extensions do for your own stuff. You would have to adopt that pattern to take advantage of Bill Arch short, um, which, you know, I can uh, recommend. Yeah, it, it's a good pattern to follow. It, it's probably the, the solution right now, and it's not high on our list for five, given the other things we're looking at for five. Yeah, well, the, the solution, I you know, I do think needs to pivot on more than just architecture. Yeah, this is not an easy thing to solve. Oh, it, it needs well, a yeah. it needs a real deep thinking about how to best to solve that. Yeah. Yep, I agree. So how about we keep this one in V future for now? Because okay. we, we want to do this. Yeah. I just don't think looking ahead at what is ahead of five, I've seen your list. I know it's on my list, and I'm like, yeah, I just don't think this one's going to bubble the top of those right now. But maybe six, we try to tackle it again. Yeah. If the workaround wasn't sufficient, I'd be more worried about it. But because the workaround's working, and given the time, we really have to like take a good run at that one. Yeah. The design of that one's kind of interesting. Uh, six nine three five. Wix should provide a default feature. This yes, is your pet should. project. One of them. One of your pet um, projects. Yeah, I have. Um, uh, I played around with this in in late in V four, um, and it's doable. And basically, the idea is, if you don't have a feature listed in your in your authoring, Wix should just, you know, give one to you. Yeah. Um, that kind of avoids it. It avoids a bunch of you know blah kind of busy work XML. Um, granted, you get them from templates usually, but uh, it was it was watching Rob's dojo deployment dojo show that just made me go, oh yeah. Yeah. And and I've been writing the Fire Giant Wix tutorial, and when you have to explain every one of these lines, it's just like, ugh. So yeah, I think Wix should do more of 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 you know kind of the the smart thing for the simple case. And a lot of packages today end up with only one feature. Well, yeah, that's you know. Which, yeah, which we're not we're not re-implementing you know all of Office in a single MSI. If you're yeah. using a bundle, you probably have you know smaller single feature packages. Yeah. And even if you have bigger packages, you know, I don't know, features are kind of like early two thousands things. Yeah, some people still do feature selection; it'll work. But for all those people that don't, you don't have to worry about. It. All right. Yep. Um, six, nine, four, seven, reevaluate use of compare string local to with compare string or no, go ahead and give that one to me. I am interested in going through and looking at that. Okay. This will clean up our code quite a bit now that we can use compare string ordinal. It's That's what, Vista, Vista? Seven, I think. Oh, okay. I think it's seven, but even seven is gone now. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Actually, the number of Windows 10 versions that are gone is, is crazy as well. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, service install template type enumeration missing per user service options, 7067. So this one, someone 
pointed out somewhere else that these, yeah, you can't start, e yeah, that these aren't actually intended to be used by people <laughs> or something well, like they, that. They are primarily designed for the OS. Yeah, they're, they're they're OS system services that run in user context. Um, the 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 biggest issue is that they require a per a per machine service. So it's it's like you know you, you can't suddenly create a per user install, which was kind of my biggest hope. Is yeah. that you know you per user installs could you know start to become bigger deal so i think we just leave this up for grabs and if someone wants to keep track and tackle this when the windows installer supports it which i don't know that it ever will um i think we just keep it up for grabs if somebody could pick it up if they ever want to kind of run down windows and you know all the people that would take to make that thing work yeah yeah that um, works but it's it it's interesting but it's not meant to be used all right uh someone Painter has 7166 add a wish UI to omit the EULA because showing EULAs in the UI is so passe. No, I don't know. Um, but an option to not have a UI. So yeah, this could be done. Yeah, there. I'll, I'll look. Um, there might be... I think there's another uh, issue. Because basically this is... We have now, especially in Wix 4, you have to use an extension because of the whole... Well, um, platform specific custom actions thing. Mm -hmm. There is a whole bunch of stuff we can do in an extension. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can it. find an existing issue to tie this to. Okay. So yeah, lots of options that could be done there. Um, harvest directory fails with can't find system runtime. Yep. Uh, this can go up for grabs. Yep. One of the many interesting challenges with heat was trying to load. I think this case CLI issues. It's like, yeah. Um, uh, revisit the need desire for Wix quiet exec 7228. Uh, huh? I don't, what? 32, wow, well, Wix. I don't understand. <laughs> now oh. that we have 64 bit oh, we custom have actions it. for everything. I see. I, I suspect that the old 32-bit custom action known as Wix Client Exec 64 um, is actually needed. It um, is needed? I doubt that it is needed. Oh, okay. It's no longer. Got it. Right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, I discovered this, as you can tell, February 17th, pretty late in V4, so I didn't want to, you know. Didn't want to remove it at that point, or or so whatever. You want to do it in five? I think we should do it in five. Yes. All right. Well, it's already signed to you, so into yeah. five it can go. Um, seven two five three. WC initialize should log more information. Oh, it doesn't give. It gives you four zero zero zero. Yeah, that's cute. It is oh wait no it wasn't cute at all um it did make it tough sometimes to like figure out what you were yeah which version you were actually looking at um luckily the informational version is available pretty easily so i will take this in five all right seven three one one multi sc insert string doesn't double null terminate when called the first value right when called with the first value. So if it has a single string, it doesn't double null, term null terminate. A new multi-string so. buffer. Um, yeah, there's a pull request for this. Do we take this? I, I don't know the implications of this. Well, we should I'm take the sure. issue in five and review the Okay, that's, review that's the pull yep, request. You're right. That's the right thing to do. That yep. is the right thing to do. Um, 7319, force load DLLs from System32 and burn stub. Yes. Should yep. definitely do this. I agree. They Windows did what I asked them to do, actually. And we need to do the work to take advantage of it. 
and it could have lots of knock-on effects, which we will need to address as well. So yeah, we should do that. This will be a fun one to see what it breaks. I'm, mm. I'm not terribly worried about the breaking. All right, so how do we do? Okay, there was a few that didn't, there's more of these. I'm, I'm, I'm still. All right, all right, all right, all right, still typing. Okay, okay, so we've been through V Future, we've been through V401, and we've been through Triage. If I hit a five, are these gone? Not quite. Uh, I guess it needs more text. All right, so we're down to the things that we're talking about. We have cleaned out our backlog of V5. We have all the known issues as of now in 401, um, and they're assigned to people, and they will get fixed. And then we have no issues left at triage today. All right, that is good. So that leads us to questions, comments, things people want to talk about. Uh my hope is that now that we've cleaned out the V5 kind of backlog of things, that maybe next week, instead of covering backlog work, we will be able to talk about some of the big things that like Bob and I are bringing. So if you have whips that you're planning to do, um, go ahead and get them open. That would be the ideal. So we could talk about the big things being done. Note that big things are, you know, you know, there's only a few, there's only six-ish or so months to get them done. So, you know, big things are relative, but we can start talking about those things. Um, if there's other things people want to ask, comment, discuss, now's the time to type those. Um, I think we will stay on this plan for the next meeting being on the 30th, which would be the Tuesday before the 401 release. So if anything is going, if anything pops up on that Tuesday, then we would uh, maybe have that, could cause us to adjust the 401 date, then we'll discuss them then. I don't know what that would be at this point. Um, and uh, that's all I have. Two weeks from now is May 30th. We'll get, we're gonna get three meetings in May. Does that mean May is a long month or is it just kind of the way it landed on the calendar? Feels like a long month. Yeah, it's 31 days. Yeah, I don't know. But so do other months? Some months do. Ah, this one just feels longer. All right, so. Uh, I'm filling space. Seems like people don't have any other questions, things going on. So that means we will be back in two weeks, the same time, same place. Uh, we will do issue triage. We will look at 401. There are no more V5 fish, five issues to talk about. So we'll talk about the, the bigger things that we'll be working on in Wix 5. Okay. All right. Well, given the silence out there, I think we're good. So you guys take it easy. I am doing a deployment dojo show tomorrow. If you want to show up, that's at noon 30. That would be, you know, like two hours from, was that two hours from now? Plus, uh, I can't do that. 22 hours from now? No, 26 hours from now. 26 hours from now. If you want to show up that. Anyway, and if not, uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Until then, all of you guys uh, take it easy. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.